After decades of serving the area's musicians, Bill's Music in Catonsville is getting some global attention as the world's greatest music store. But as WMAR 2 News' Jeff Hager tells us tonight, the designation comes at a devastating time for the owner's family. Built upon the strings of a handful of guitars by Bill Higgins and his family, starting back in 1965, Bill's Music House on Frederick Road has become a production house on this day. If you look in the camera, we can't use that tape. A TV show billed as the world's greatest TV is honoring this store unlike any other. We were chosen as the world's greatest music store, so here we are today filming a TV show. Higgins' daughters are seemingly all smiles. <laughs> and their brother speaks to the store's success. Now at all times, there's over 2,000 guitars in stock, it's 36,000 square feet, and over 400 students that come in every week to take lessons from us. But behind the production, the family is reeling from their father's death at the age of 81, just the previous day. My dad's one of the most recognizable figures here in Catonsville, and we did lose him yesterday. And the word's gonna get out today and tomorrow, and we're gonna have people come from all over to honor my dad. Initially inspired by the Beatles, Bill Higgins' store drew the likes of John Bon Jovi and the group's guitarist Richie Sambora, Joe Cocker, drummer Gina Shock of the Go-Go's, and most recently, Rod Stewart's crew. They needed a keyboard or saw a unique one that we had actually, called us up, bought it in advance, and we took it to Rod Stewart, Meriwether, and got to go backstage. That was pretty fun. In addition to all of the famous artists, Bill's music has been part of the fabric of Catonsville, touching the lives of thousands of families for some 58 years. It's Bill Higgins' legacy, and to international recognition or not, it's part of what makes this store the greatest music store in the world. My dad lives and breathes this place, so anything Bill's music, we do. We love Catonsville, and I think Catonsville loves us. In Catonsville, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.